Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you know someone suffering from depression? Do you wonder what's going on in their minds? Depression is a serious mental illness that affects millions of people. And even though it's been wildly discussed in recent years, there are still so many misconceptions about what it actually is. With all the stigma surrounding mental illness and depression, it can be tough to live with it and to communicate to others what it's like. So our goal is to give you some insight into what people with depression often feel that most people don't know or misunderstand. So here are six things people with depression want you to know. Number one, a depressed person does not necessarily look or behave sad. Being depressed is not the same thing as being sad. Depression is a complex illness affecting the brain and it does not equate to sadness at all. It's much more than just crying and looking sad. Just like how there are different types of cancer, there are different types of depression, such as major depressive disorder, dysthymic disorder, bipolar disorder, and so on. So despite what you might see on the surface, the always happy neighbor or friend you have may actually be struggling with their mental health inside. Number two, depression does not define the personality of a person suffering from it. People who suffer from depression are more than just their illness. While it may play a huge part in their lives, it's important to remember that there's much more to them than their struggle with their mental health. Number three, depression is never a choice. People who suffer from depression do not choose to feel or act that way. Living with depression can be hard enough as it is, but it can be so much harder when the people around you think you're faking it. There's sometimes just no apparent reason as to why someone develops depression, but it rewires the brain and makes it harder for them to make choices on their own. This could mean that they can't help with how they're feeling. So it can become a real struggle when they have to find ways to live the best life they can, despite what their mood might tell them. Number four, people with depression do not want to die. They just don't wanna live like they do. Many people think that those with depression have lost the will to live, but that's not the case. Living with depression can make life harder to bear and the intense and overwhelming feelings they experience can be debilitating. It's not easy to explain what having depression feels like, but many people who suffer from depression describe their feelings with words like dark, heavy, tight, wanting to escape from their pain. You may even hear them say that they don't wanna kill themselves, but instead die in their sleep out of mental exhaustion. When people suffering from depression feel unwell and miserable, they might not be fully aware of what they're actually wishing for. If you or someone else are feeling depressed or contemplating suicide, please remember that you're not alone. We've added a list of suicide hotlines in the description below. Number five, people with depression want to feel loved just like everybody else. Having depression can already make you feel isolated and alone, but it can be worsened if the people around you dislike or abandon you because of it. On the other hand, having depression can also cause some to push people away. This does not mean that people with depression have no desire to love or to feel love, but it may mean that they want to feel better before they're able to take on anything else. Nonetheless, it's always good if somebody is there and available for them with love and support while patiently waiting for them to recover. And number six, having a depressed friend doesn't mean you need to fix them, nor does it mean that they are toxic to you. This is one of the most important things to keep in mind when someone you know suffers from depression. Oftentimes, when you have a friend or relative struggling with depression, you may feel compelled to fix their problems. However, while your intention is good, the best way to support your friend would be to just listen without being preachy and judgmental. It's always better to make them feel at ease when they confide in you and to try to understand their depressive mood. It's also better to ask them what they need or how you can help them before taking any actions that might make things worse instead of better. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.